Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. This video is part of a series of videos where you will be able to test your VHDL or Verilog coding skills. I will share code snippets which you will need to debug. The video will have two parts. The first part will have the code and its simulation and the desired output. After watching this part, you could pause the video and try to solve the issue by yourself. After I pause, I will share the solution with you as well. Please make use of this upcoming videos to get more practical knowledge of VHDL. Thank you. This is the VHDL code we are going to discuss today. It's a very simple code. You have uh, four signals A, B, C and D. All of them are standard logic as you can see here. Uh, D is considered as an output and the values of A, B and C determines the output D. You can see here inside the process, if A is equal to 1, B is assigned to D and if A is equal to 0, C is assigned to D. So let's see if uh, the simulation is working as per this code. So we have simulated the code you just saw, but as you can see, D is constantly at 0, not responding to any of the inputs A, B or C. So what is happening? That is your job to figure out. So you can pause the video and try to figure out how to correct this error. Good luck. I hope you were able to figure out what was the error. For those who couldn't, let me explain to you. So what is missing in this code is the sensitivity list. So sensitivity list is the list of signals which is usually mentioned inside the process like right here. Okay. A sensitivity list should include all the signals which are red inside the process. Here you can see A is red. The value of A determines the output D and also the value of B and the value of C determines the output D. So these signals are considered to be red inside the process. But I have included only A as in the sensitivity list. That won't work, at least in simulation. In synthesis, it doesn't matter, but it's always a good practice to include the correct sensitivity list. So let me write A, B, C. So now we have all the signals which are read inside the process as in the sensitivity list. We can uh, try and simulate it again, relaunch, perfect. Look at the value of D, how it's uh, changing as per A, B and C. So you can see that in the first half of the simulation A is equal to 0 and that time C is assigned to D and then the value of A changes to 1, the value of B is assigned to D. So we have solved this uh, question. This is a very simple question regarding sensitivity list. The approach is a bit different for clocked processes, but the general idea is that you include all the signals which are read because the changes in A, B or C makes this entire code segment to be executed. Okay, you can think it in that way. So if A is not included, when the value of B changes, this code segment won't be executed. So it won't be registered. So that is how sensitivity list works. I hope you learned something new today. And if you like such videos in the future, please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you get notifications right away when I upload a new video. Alright, good luck. Bye-bye.